Grade 4 math number 19, multiply using partial products. Now in this little lesson, we're going to use the distributive property and partial products to solve these multiplication problems. Remember from our previous videos that the distributive property says we can multiply a number by breaking it apart into add-ins. We multiply each add-in and then adding all the products together. A partial product is a way to multiply ones, tens, hundreds, thousands separately. Then we add the products together. What we're doing is we're breaking the number up by place values, multiplying each place value, and then adding them. So let's see what we've got here. Okay, let's come over here. We've got 238 times 4. And this is how you would write it stacked so that it would be easier to multiply. So what we've got is 4 times 8. Here's 4 times 8. We've got 4 times 30, because that's the tens place. So we've got 4 times 30. And we've got 4 times 200, because it's in the hundreds place. See? We would do each one of these, and then put the answer in the box. 4 times 200 is 800. 4 times 30 is 120. See, it's 4 times 3 and add the 0. 4 times 8 is 32. And then we can add the 800, the 120, and the 32, and we get 952. Now, the way to do it without having to do the boxes, to do it on regular paper, would be 8 times 4, right here, is 32. You carry the 3 and you put the 2 down. Then you do 4 times 3, which is 12, and you add the 3 up here. So we've got 12, 13, 14, 15. We carry the 1 from the 15 and put the 5 down here in this column. Then we do 4 times 2, which is 8, plus 1 is 9, and we put the 9 there. And it's the same thing as doing it this way, see? you get the same answer. This way, you're doing partial products. This way, we're distributing the 4 to each one. All right, let's try it again. A little bit bigger number. We've got 4,713 times 6. So here we've got the 6 times the 4,000. See, it's in the thousands place. We've got 6 times 700. It's in the hundreds place. We've got 6 times 10, because that's in the tens place. And we've got 6 times 3. It's in the ones place. 6 times 4 is 24, and we add the three zeros. We get 24,000. 6 times 7 is 42, and then we add the two zeros. 6 times 10 is 60, and 6 times 3 is 18. When we go to add these all up, that's an 8. 6 and 1 is 7. We drop the 2. 4 plus 4 is 8. We drop the 2 and we get 28,278. Now this is the way we would do it by distributing the 6. 6 times 3 is 18. We carry the 1 and put the 8 down. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Now remember, whenever we carry over, we add that 1. We don't multiply it. We multiply, and then we add the carry over, carried over one, okay? All right, so 6 times 1 is 6, plus the 1 is 7. 6 times 7 is 42. We carry the 4 and put the 2 down. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 4 is 25, 26, 27, 28. And we get 28,278, just like we did for the partial product method, okay? We got one more. We're going to do it with money, okay? Emma and her four friends earned money raking leaves in their neighborhood. If each earned $28.34, what was the total amount they earned before they split it all up? So, there's five people because it's Emma and her four friends, okay? So, we're going to ask, what is $28.34 times five? Because there's five people. Then we'll know the total of what they earned. So, the partial products way is 
to multiply 5 times $20, because that's in the $20 space, see? This period here means these are the cents and these are the dollars. So that's in the tens of dollars space. Okay, so there's the 5 times the $20. We've got 5 times $8 right here. We've got 5 times 30 cents and 5 times 20, uh, 4 cents. See? We add them all up. 5 times $20 is $100. 5 times 8 is 40 and add the point zero zero. 5 times 30 cents is $1.50. And 5 times 4 cents is 20 cents. When we add them all up, that's a zero, that's seven. We drop the one, we drop the four, and we drop the one. The total they had made was $141.70 before they split it up to each get $28.34. Now let's see how we would do it by distributing this five. Okay, this is the regular way to do it. Five times four is 20. We carry the two and put the zero down. 5 times 3 is 15, and we add the 2, 16, 17. Put the 1 here to carry it over, and put the 7 down here for the 17. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 1 is 41. We carry the 4 and put the 1 down. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14, and we just put it down here. We make sure our decimal space is 1, 2 places over, for money, and we get $141.70, just like we did there. See? So that's how we can use the distributive property in partial products to do multiplication. Okay? So we're going to continue working on this. Just remember to watch your place values. I'm going to do a little mental math next. I'll see you there. Bye.